A lot has changed. My, we're going. We're <laughs> leaking out of some shit. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Now the motor swap went all sweet. It's running perfect right now, but I do have one issue that I need to address in this video. I can see bugger all out the back of this car. And that's where this comes in. This is the Warrior Vision. Now this pretty much replaces, not replaces, but clips over your original rear view mirror. So this one comes with a rear view camera. It's also a recorder that records everything that happens at the front of your car. So if you're in an accident or someone pulls out in front of you, you'll have evidence. Probably not a good idea to have a camera inside of my car at all times, but that's a story for another day. So I'm gonna put this thing into the surf because I do have trouble seeing at the back since I put the Eco X gear soundbar in there, it sort of blocked off a lot of the vision. Now, this was sent to me for the sole purpose of helping me see behind the car. Now, I've been in talks with these guys for a while now, but I've never had a car with a rear view mirror to put it on. So got the surf and I noticed I have a rear view mirror so we can use this right here. Now the bloke that owns this company is a top bloke. He really cares about his product. I think this will be really cool. Um, I've seen a few videos on these things and they're quite interesting on what they can do. So now this simply just clips onto your original mirror via elastic bands, I believe. So you can see that camera there, that's movable so you can move it around. And then when it's not on, you have that mirror finish. So you see that? So that way you can still use it as a normal mirror. Brilliant idea. Bottom of our kit, we have 10 meters worth of cable with our reverse camera. So the reverse camera is gonna link up directly to that mirror. Power wise, GPS, also a cigarette lighter socket if you do not want to hardwire this into your car. These are the elastic bands that hold it to your mirror and then your bracket for your rear view camera. Oh, and a cleaning cloth, that's helpful. So I'm gonna install this thing inside the surf, see how it goes and yeah, I'm pretty keen on this one. Let's get to it. First bit of all is gonna be the hardest part out of everything. Let's try not to stuff this up. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. So it was actually quite easy to install, that was. It's all in, so I've got the GPS plugged up behind there, and then I just raveled the cord along that elastic strap. I've got a sheet across the windscreen so you're not getting blinded. So I ran the wires up, and then down the pillar, and then I, I've just gone with the cigarette lighter plug for now. But this is actually pretty awesome, so you can change it so you just got rear view. Also, I love this bit. You can change the view of your camera. So I can probably turn that down a bit but yeah, how good's that? And then you hit this button, go to your front view and you can change the front view. So there's a sheet over it. And then hit that button again and then you got the rear view and the front view as well. So you have your kilometers there, what way you're going, and then also your time and date. That is perfect. It sits up there nice and flush. The only thing I noticed is in this car, it's really close. It's actually touching those wires up there, but that's not an issue. It's sitting in a good spot now. If anything, it could actually come down. Got the rear view camera on the back. And yeah, like I was saying, we can actually move it up and down depending where we want to look. How good is that? So you can either just have that running like that full time, or you can look out the front. We've got a sheet over it, that's why you can't see anything right now, but the glare ain't too bad, being that it's like a mirror finish, but you can I can see it perfectly, but the camera's picking up a bit of glare. So I'm gonna go for a drive, get some footage. Oh, that's so much better. And we're gonna see how good the cameras are on this thing. So go for a lap and lap. See what they're all about. We'll switch to these cams.
Yeah, it's not bad. That is actually pretty awesome. I really like the fact that it records the front and the rear through different settings. So Now, it's not as good a quality as a camera like this or other cameras that I use, but if in the event of an accident and it's hard to prove who is in the right or who, in the, who is in the wrong, something like that's going to save your ass 100%. And if it proves you're in the wrong, just ditch the card and run. Then we've got the rear view mirror we can see at the back, so it's not so bad. Surf is running great. There's not an issue. I haven't had any overheating, no misfiring, absolutely nothing. Uh, the throttle response is 100% better than what it was. I absolutely love this car now. It's going awesome. It's quick. It's comfy. I couldn't ask for anything better. Massive shout out to Warrior Vision. I'll leave a link for this thing down in the description box. Go check them out. Follow them on Instagram. But other than that, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Go follow him on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Do all the other stuff. Don't care what you do. Peace.